in a bid to mitigate the growing adequate electricity supply in the West African country. Nigeria's government sets to privatize the country's major electricity projects with a view to boost power production. While this new drive is expected to ease the long-standing energy shortfall, experts observe that authorities need to be vigilant to enable the contracted farms deliver their mandate. Some citizens, however, highlighted the challenges they face due to the lack of constant power supply. Let's have more details of that in this report. Oluwa Shola Daniel runs this welding workshop, which relies on the national electricity grid for its energy needs. He says the unreliable power supply is taking a toll on his business. Once there is no light, we can't be able to deliver the work on time as we've already agreed with the customer. So sometimes some customers get to understand and some of them don't get to understand. In 2013, the Nigerian government transferred management of its power generation and distribution to private companies. But nine years down the line, the country is only able to dispatch around 4,000 megawatts of electricity despite having potential to generate more than 12,500 megawatts from existing plants. The current capacity is insufficient for a country of over 200 million people and their businesses. The government says its projection is for the country to be able to generate 30,000 megawatts of electricity by 2030, with 3,000 megawatts coming from renewables and 27,000 megawatts from its power plants. Now, it has shortlisted 16 firms to privatize five of the country's national integrated power projects. The firms emerged from among 36 others who had expressed interest to invest in the sector. To license other private individuals to generate this electricity and also were transmit and distribute it to their targeted customers instead of centralizing it. And that, is, that has been the setback and that is why despite the, the huge investment we have put in place, we are unable to achieve that 24 hours light. The privatization of the projects is among the measures by the government to achieve an additional 3,800 megawatts of electricity in the country in the next 24 months. But energy experts want the government to increase supervision of the firms to ensure they deliver on their mandates to generate and distribute power. The government should just be there to regulate them, not to exploit what? A common man. They will come in with their facilities, they will invest, and hopefully at the end of the day we will have the 24 hours light. The government says it also plans to invest an additional $400 billion in excess to strengthen the nation's power transmission and distribution infrastructure. These efforts are expected to guarantee 24-hour power supply in Nigeria and thereby turn the fortunes of businesses like that of Oluwa Shola Daniel around.